The biggest discovery of Viking treasure in Europe was found on the banks of the River Ribble near Preston. It's also one of the North West's best kept secrets. Two experts, bioscientist and Viking expert Steve Harding and county archaeologist Peter Isles, helped me to piece together the story of the Kerdale Horde. Could you tell us exactly what the Kerdale Horde is? Well, the Kerdale Horde is a large collection of silver. It's one of the biggest collections of silver ever found. It's dated to the very early years of the 10th century, about 905, but it contained a very large number of coins, a large number of silver ingots, and what we refer to as hack silver. That's jewellery, arm bracelets, that kind of thing, being cut up and used as effectively currency. In 1842, workmen repairing the riverbank found the hoard and dug it up in a frenzy of excitement. The Kerdale hoard was vast, numbering over 8,500 coins, jewellery and silver bullion. The hoard was buried in about 905 AD, the same time that Vikings had been driven out of Dublin. But who buried it and why? Stephen Harding has one explanation. Was this, uh, this treasure used for some sort of... Uh war chest for, for paying armies of, uh, of Vikings uh, for the various campaigns that were going on in that, in that period. So we're looking at a sort of central um, cache, if you like, of, of material wealth, which is then doled out to the different forces involved in coming into the, the north and, and taking over, very much like you say, as a sort of a war chest to pay off, to pay off the warriors. 40 kilograms of the stuff, yeah. So yeah from the few thousand surviving pieces we have, the figure could be of as high as seven or 8,000 well, pieces. seven or 8,000 coins. 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 And then on top of that, a uh, thousand or so pieces of uh, ingot or ingots themselves, and who knows how much jewellery. So in, in, right. in terms of a lost treasure then, this is something which, which is actually vast. It's an enormous amount of wealth for the Dark Age period, isn't it? And it's to some extent, it, it's just disappeared into the writings of history. The hoard would have a modern day value of over half a million pounds. Regrettably, the treasure was split between 41 British and foreign institutions and more than 170 individuals, many of whom are now unknown.